This is Start with Starfront. Over the past 14 seasons of Shark Tank, $221.5 million has been invested into 729 companies. While it's thrilling to watch the negotiations happen, just because everyone shakes on a deal doesn't mean it'll actually close. Every company wants to be the unicorn that blows the sharks out of the water, but terms change and deals can fall through. So what happens once the pitch is over, the doors shut, and the cameras stop rolling? In today's episode, we welcome back to the podcast Hector Saldivar, the founder of Tia Lapita. Hector was recently on season 14 of Shark Tank, and he closed a deal with Kevin O'Leary for $500,000 as a line of credit for 5% equity. We wanted to chat with him to hear about the full Shark Tank experience, from his application all the way to how the show impacted the sales once it aired on TV. In today's episode, we discuss why he says that Shark Tank producers know him better than his wife, the secret small brand killer in retailers, and the immediate impact Shark Tank has on the brand sales. Make sure to listen until the end. Hector drops a super exciting partnership announcement that got us fired up in the studio. All right, welcome back to the podcast on today's show. We're rocking with Hector again from Tia Lupita for episode 176. Thanks for joining. Diego, thanks for inviting me back. I didn't expect an invite back. <laughs> so, so since you've been, I guess since the podcast aired, you are or were on Shark Tank. Congrats. Yes. Yes, Big day for you. you. Thank you, thank you. Give us a sense of what that was like for you. So first of all, how long had you been auditioning or in the queue to get on Shark Tank? The, the whole Shark Tank uh, situation to me came uh, a little bit of a surprise. It was one of my teammates that applied for me okay. to Shark Tank. He's like, dude, can I apply for you to Shark Tank? Because you you need to be there. I mean, you have the personality, the passion. I'm like, sure, Cam. Uh, if you have the time to apply, go for it. And if by any chance we get picked, I'll do it. Uh, okay. Thinking that the odds were not on my favor. Which is true. Know? The odds are not that high. Yeah, I, it's 40, I think in between 30 and 40,000 people apply every yeah. year and 156 get invited to tape, but only 88 make it on air. Yeah. So yeah, the odds, not, 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 not on your favor, but somehow we got picked. The, we went through the, the process. I, I like to say that the Shark Tank producers know more about me than my wife now like they <laughs> okay. literally vet you yeah left and right like you're a presidential candidate like they'll like everything if you got arrested you know oh wow background checks yeah everything. Okay. if you peed in public and you got caught on a you know did you did you, did you did you pee in public <laughs> no well if, and if i do i made sure no one was watching it. so <laughs> so <laughs> i'm thinking i'm like but again everything they yeah. know they know everything you know Income, background, family, wife, kids, all that. So uh, it was it was pretty intense. And they invite you to tape. And so then I get the invitation to tape, and they fly me down. So to, uh, to here, right? To it LA. It was uh, Culver City. Yeah. Sunny Studios in Culver City. Yeah, they they put you in a hotel room uh, when you get in. Uh, very hermetic environment. You cannot say anything. And then they pick you up the next day early, early, early like around, uh, I think, uh, 5.30. We needed to be everyone in the lobby. And they put us in a van. And then to the studio where we get each our own green room. And then, you know, we're there until, uh, you know, it's action time. Are right? they taking you in all the companies? So there's not yeah, just... Yeah, so I okay. think that day... And I, and here's a little thing that where, where I get a little bit more... Uh, I give a little bit more respect to the sharks is that they're they the, like a whole freaking day. I think th they start taping at nine and they don't leave until maybe past eight. Oh, at evening. night. So at they're doing nine. like almost exactly. a 12 hour so day. They, so yeah. So they invite like 12 wow. entrepreneurs. Wow. Uh, and Do I you think, become friends with them in the green room or in the back? No, no. no. It's, it's, and, and so again, each one is they have their own green okay. room. We all have our, and you know, it's kind of funny because you know, through the walls, you you hear them rehearse. You, you hear them you, rehearsing their pitch, exactly, right? Exactly, and all yeah. that. I took an approach where I'm like, dude, you know, at this stage, you've done, you've done your rehearsing. It is what it is. And so, you know, if you start doing this, I, I, you know, you might get sidetracked. And, and you, before you went on, were you aiming to get a shark that you wanted? Like, was there a certain person that you said, okay, if I could get a deal with this individual, it would be like, that's someone you're targeting. Yeah, that's a really good question. I think, you know, I don't know why Cuban has become like the, 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 the dream shark, right? 
but obviously for me that that would have been uh i think you know good because I, I also i think our products align with his uh lifestyle his gluten-free and, and 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 better for you but no my my actually my objective was get an offer get a deal i think you know that, that i think that that was like that's the validation that we needed, you know, that, 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 that I needed. And so you're called out on stage. And during that time, how long are you standing before you say that before you start your pitch? Right. So you're standing in front of the shark. I think a good 90 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Because they're there. So they're, 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 and are they talking to each other? Or are they quiet? Doing, no. So, uh, that's, that's, that's one of the things that, uh, kind of like impressed upon me the most was they were all, all in their in their in their phones their or phone. like they're working they're working they're texting yeah. blah 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 the only two sharks that made eye contact uh to me during that those 90 seconds and gave me a piece of it's gonna be okay you know we we, we it's where barbara and Lori. Like they the were, the, they were the, the women in the, the women. Room. Yeah. They were the ones Much that were not like, and they were, they, they were smiling and they saw immediately that I was sweating bullets already and with a target shirt that barely fit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and they were like, just smiling at me. I was like, Oh, it's going to be fine. Take it easy. And then it, as soon as it started, it's action. And by the way, there's no edits. Okay. So once you start, it, 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 you cannot just like, oh, do over or cut. Like, can we edit that or oh, something like that? No. It's, yeah. it's, uh, you're in it. You're in it. It seemed like you went, I mean, it went well. You had your pitch dialed in, your stories well, honed. Well, you would think, right? But, you know, so I had my pitch, right? You know, yeah. raise your hands if you like to eat, you know, tacos. Uh, tacos. Yeah. Raise your other hands if you like to eat clean, healthy ingredients. Now try to touch your ears. And so as soon as i say yeah, you're setting it up you're setting up yeah, the better for exactly. you category. I'm, I'm setting up the pitch and all that stuff and so which was great and if yeah. you haven't seen it go to youtube you'll see it it's <laughs> thank really you, good thank you so much yeah uh, i always like to start with with uh with some humor right it it, it, it engages yeah. you right away so uh but uh, yeah as soon as i said raise your hand if you like to eat tacos damon john is like doesn't raise his hand i'm like no <laughs> no no tacos no tacos for you damon is like and he says i hate tacos and <laughs> you see that the shark director is like what and i'm like i'm just like who doesn't like tacos he should man? do a podcast on that there's no i've never met anybody in the world that doesn't like tacos i mean i don't trust anyone who doesn't like tacos i mean what what taco truck ran over your puppies that that, <laughs> that you got traumatized or, or, or I, I don't know I, I really don't know but that kind of threw me off. Oh, for of sure. course. It, it, You've it, never it, met anyone in your life who doesn't like tacos. Exactly. Here's one of the sharks saying, I'm already out of the deal. I'm already, exactly. Yeah. I'm already out. Exactly. And, you're, and you're 30 seconds in. Pretty much exactly. Six seconds. Like, holy shit. This yeah. is a, and I know I can curse. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, this guy's already out and I haven't even started my pitch. And that threw me off. But, you know, uh, and so I did kind of like stuttered a little bit to get back in it. But hopefully, uh, or thankfully, better better yet, uh, you know, the, the editors, uh, I think, edit but then, but then Mark says something interesting. So I thought at this moment, Mark is really interested because he asked you how many calories are in the yeah, tortilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, and so by the way, I, I'm there, I mean, they only showed, I think officially like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. but I'm there for an hour, yeah. around about an hour, an hour plus, and it's pitching in a sandstorm, right? You're, you're, you're after, after the pitch, everyone, so after my initial pitch everyone starts trying their product and you know immediately the the, the the frenzy begins the feedback is like yeah oh they all love it by the way at yeah. least on tv it looked like they all absolutely loved the and, product and that's one of the things that i uh, i wish they would have shown more of because of, of the, the shark's reactions everyone truly loved the product and 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 i think the even damon even Damon, like, uh, he loved the sal salsa matcha, he, which was, you know, something new for him. It's like, I can totally see myself using this oil, like, you <laughs> know. I find that uh, so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the salad dressing or stuff like that. But everyone was was just giving great positive feedback, loving it. You had, you know, Lori uh, walking to steal more food from, uh, you know, the other shocks doing that. But I, I wish they, they would have shown more of that. But, you know, at the end, yeah. you kind of see it through a different perspective because when 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 I'm getting the offer from Kevin and he's standing his ground yeah how quickly from when you start to when you, they start making an offer 
So obviously they go, okay, they try it, they like it. Yeah. And then at some point they ask you revenue numbers, which are important. So they understand your business are writing things down. And then how many minutes does it get to the point where they're starting to yell offers at you? Yeah, I think a good 40 minutes. Oh, wow. Minutes okay. After. So there's a lot of time. So there's a lot. So, so the... because you have to tell the, 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 the story, the ideation, like yeah. why I started it, how I started it. You have to tell, you, you tell them the, your, your background, right? Why, why are you go, uh, a good founder and, and, and the right person for this, right? Yeah. And then revenue, right? And then the, 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 the finance stuff, And your revenue right? was great. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're yeah. So you uh, were, you were on track at that time to make 1.5 million, I think it was in that uh, year. I think that was the, your projection. Close to four. We were four, actually, okay. yeah, yeah, close to four exactly. So we, you know, we ended up being a little shy of that just because of uh, product uh, and revenue shifting. But but still healthy. That, that, but that was that was the the, the run rate exactly. So yeah, yeah all, the trajectories are all right. My numbers your, was, your growth they, numbers are on track. Exactly. You know, even even margin. I had had a profitable month. The, the month before. That's so right. That you, was, you announced that. That, that you was said you also like like huge, like, huge because you know they 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 like to hear that, and 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 so that allowed me to disclose and say, I, I, we do have a path of uh, to profitability. They here. also asked you on Shark Tank. They said, you were getting nailed with some fees. Oh, what's the fee you're getting destroyed yeah, with? Yeah, and and yeah. tell us. So tell us about the fee, and then tell us how normal that is. They seemed very aware of these fees. Yeah. But from your, how, what is the fee and how normal is that in the landscape you're it's playing in? It's called slotting or slotting free, fees. or free fill. Okay. And What's a slotting fee? And it's what I like to say, it's a emerging brand killer. It's the, it's the fee that a retailer asks a uh, new brand. Oh, you want to be in our shelves? Okay. Well, you have to pay us, you know, 40 or 50 or $60 per SKU, per store. Oh wow! To be in, to be in. is that per month per year? No, it's it, it's 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 a one time fee. Okay. Right, and in theory, so that's just to get shelf space. It's just to get your shelf. And space. do you pick the shelf space or no? No, no, okay. no. It's, it, 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 the, so the, for the, the honor of being in the store, exactly. you pay forty, sixty dollars per skew. Forty between forty and sixty dollars exactly. And yeah. so if you're rolling out two hundred stores, if a thousand you're rolling stores, three skews or like four right now here in a thousand stores yeah it, you know it add, it adds up yeah really that's big money cool. and you said in slotting fees you ended up paying one one point two million i think it no was, so again they edited it all wrong so okay. again <laughs> that's why we're here but no absolutely no and, and, and it's fine but yeah like the previous year we paid almost a quarter million dollars in slotting, in slotting fees. fee and okay. for us you know that impacts our cash flow and our bank account oh, balance yeah. tremendously. Like, and it's know, not like a deposit. You don't get it back if you do well. It's, it's just it's a, money that you're throwing to the garbage can because okay. it's not working dollars, right? So for people who want to start a CPG company, they should know that it's, it's probably going to cost them a million or two million dollars right. to get to the scale I, they need to I get am in just slotting fees. Absolutely, and I, I, but I'm truly advocating and hopefully, and there's retailers that are starting to listen. And there's, yeah, there's, that's a good takeaway, by the way. The retailers are starting to change and they're supporting. They have to understand that uh, if they want innovation, if, if they want to support small businesses and emerging brands that are bringing cool flavors and ingredients and products, that we cannot be treated as a... Right, as a conglomerate. Conagra, as a craft. Walmart, I think, has a program, right? There's some Walmart, Walmart does, target. Walmart does not have uh, slotting fees, for example. Okay. Like so, so okay. they don't. Uh, they you let know, the free market decide. Exactly. Another one is Kroger. You know they have, uh, you know they like if you're a minority owned or women owned, so they understand that it's, that's harder for you to raise money and this and that. Okay, so, so there's some adjustments being made in the market. They, on the there, there's fee. definitely some for okay. sure. And it's just one time anyway, so it's not like it's one time, but it's it's again it's this is what happens most of the times. You pay that money. Pay thirty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars. It's like the cartel, dude. It's like you're paying the cartel it, 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 to, it, it, to build it's, something. It's somebody called it a, a tax. A, a, I mean, it's, that's not, crazy. it's not even a tax. It's I, f I forget. So thirty, forty thousand dollars. You get in, and twelve months go through, and you know because X, Y, and C, you didn't have the funds to support the product properly. You get discount. You get you get pulled off the shelf. Wow. You didn't get chance. You didn't get a chance to recuperate. To to make your, your the money the money back and and it, that happens more so you get discontinued on per while and for them then this becomes a a a, a revenue stream right sure oh I'll, I'll 
I'll get I'll I'll, I'll bring you in, pay me my money, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll kick you out in twelve months, and then next and on to the next one, right? There's almost incentive for them to keep recycling different products out. Uh, absolutely, and so yeah. a lot wow. you got a lot of small brands, emerging brands. Wow. By the way, I'm I I was a victim of that, and it happened in a in a account in the north in the northeast, you know, that covers Vermont and Maine and. And that's literally what happened. Emerging brands cannot get treated uh, the same as the there's big two. Brands. So in my head, there's two ways I'm looking at it too. If I'm an investor looking at your deck and I see that you spent a million dollars in slotting fees, to some extent, it also gives me a little bit of comfort in the sense of okay, this person's trying to scale and they have they have money or revenue or they've got the capital to do that and they understand the game. And so it's almost like it can it can it can tell me as an investor a couple different things. Obviously, a, a zero would be better because then the fees would be better. And so then the free market speaks for itself. But there's still some, yeah. it's still a healthy metric for me as an investor to go, okay, they're not messing around. They're Absolutely. trying to really grow. So that's another way of thinking and, about and then, it. And it's key to explain because you know a lot of investors are looking at, the, at your contribution margin. And why was your contribution margin so low right. you know, in these months? And it's like, well, we had we, we had to pay this lotting and it's one time. So they kind of understand. Yeah, got So it. my approach to that... And again, sometimes it works and we all need to hold hands, even even brokers, right? You know that I like to say they're a necessary evil. It's, <laughs> <laughs> they like to take the, the, the path of least resistance, like they want to offer the product and do not aggravate the buyer. Right. And so when you say, oh, you when, when the buyer asks, oh, yeah, it's lotting and for them it's super hard to say well can we waive that or but they don't want to do that how about so exactly so it's on us uh to start pushing that and by the way i'm not saying that i'm not interested in paying what i'm saying is can we use those funds to make the product work right. can can instead of, of paying you forty thousand dollars can i invest those forty thousand dollars in coupons ads uh, demo. Right, you want something for it. Exactly. Yeah, give me some marketing. Give me some I, welcome I, to the program. And by the way, we we all, we already have our you know we 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 we, we scheduled four or five promotions a year, you know twenty twenty five percent discounts isn't that? This is incremental to that. Yeah, I look at it like in real estate. There's a there's what's called a cam, which is a, a it's a common area maintenance. And so let's say I have a food hall and you're one of the vendors inside. You all pay a cam because at some point the real estate is cleaning all the dishes, cleaning the tables that are being shared by everybody. And so you get a service for that fee. Mm -hmm. Obviously the grocers probably look at it like, okay, the, there's some restocking, there's some labor to bring a new product that's on. The, 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 but, that's exactly right. But in that they should still say, okay, but look, we're gonna do some marketing on your behalf. Maybe we do some video, you know, we introduce and new by products. The way, they already have this in their budgets. Like right, they, they, right. They, and they're, they're resetting, and, and by the way, they're resetting a lot of brands, right? And, 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 and so, Yes, that, that, that's how it started. Yeah. That was the, the whole the, the, the whole background on, on how why slotting started. And then I think it got, you know, out of whack. And, and, yeah. and I think same same thing with taxation. I think you, you, know, sure. you, you cannot tax the same. Uh, All right, let's go back to the pitch. And so, and that, so then thank you for the, that's really helpful for me and probably for our listeners to take away around. If you're starting a CPG company, slotting's a real thing, look into it. And then there's some major retailers that are, not doing it or, or helping the yeah, little there, bit, which is great. There's hopefully that the the, the the movement that is expanding more and more. So who makes an offer first? So I think the first person to start the conversation Damon was out already. He doesn't like was, tacos. He I doesn't think, get yeah, it. Da it was it was it was Damon though. But Damon, he was like, Hey, really good presentation. He was like, Really good presentation. And you're like and he was like impressed with the numbers. You're obviously doing something right. But, you know, like I said, before, he, he, he clinged to that, you know, as I said before, I need to be passionate about it. And I'm not, you know, not, I'm just I'm not the fan of the food. I'm like, all right, fine. I kind of knew that coming. And then each one of them started going out with the excuse of you're going to need more than $500,000. Right. They're, they're saying you have to get to $20 million in revenue. Exactly. exactly. And you're a you're, long so way you're away. Need, you're going to need more than $500,000. Yeah. This is, you know, a very expensive. Uh, uh, Which is true. In business, CPG, you got to get to $20 million in revenue. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but actually for us is to be uh, to become an acquirable brand. You're, yeah. talking, you're saying? Well, that's how they viewed it. That's what they're saying on, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. air. That's how yeah, they're I viewing think, it. Yeah, I think, you know, around, around 20 million, you, you start becoming uh, an acquirable brand, you know, interested to other uh, people. But, you know, for us, profitability 
is I think more important becoming a sustainable brand because we don't know if we're gonna you know if someone is gonna wanna take us along for their journey so but we need to survive without constantly re raising money right so we know that for us around the 10 11 million dollar mark we become sustainable we become profitable but that was the, that was the case it's like hey you know I think you know you're gonna need a lot of money yeah that and, seemed and, like and, Mark's and, thing Mark Mark seemed into it he liked the whole thing he understood the low calorie he liked oh. the gluten free component but he just realized it's gonna take too much energy absolutely and and also the other thing that, and I and I got warned by the way by the by the shark producers I was already coming in with a high ticket number right big money and and low equity so right. so I'm, 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 they were I was already coming out of 500k for only 5% and you know you if you seen shark tank is like I don't get out of bed for five percent. You know, they, they, I, need, I need to wet my beak a little bit more. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I think Mr. Wonderful said that to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was that a strategy on your part, or were you, was your business just at that level where you're like, look, it only makes sense? I was if we're already, I was already giving them a discount because we were, we were raising at a fifteen million value, fifty million uh, valuation cap, and so I came in offering them ten. You know, at a you know the, the famous shark discount. So I think I was already you know, and, and all my numbers and and the financials and, and just the traction was was showing that I that was a more than fair valuation. And so you know, I think that was a Mr. Wonderful thing was that he started uh, living a grain free diet. He the, the, uh, he fell in love with our tortilla chips. He's like, this is the best grain free tortilla chip I've, I've ever had. And so I'm starting this, you know, portfolio of, of, of better for you. And, and so, but he won a 10% and, you know, I was like, you know, let's. Yeah. So he offers you $500,000 at 12% uh, debt, uh, so like a loan. It was, a, it was a line of credit. So, line of credit. You know, so a recurring line of credit. Yeah. 12% interest. Because Which well, seems well, kind of steep, frankly. Well, at that time that was, it was, it was actually not that far. It's like what it is. It was between 11 right. and 12 uh, interest. So. Uh, I mean, I, I was, I was, I was, I was fine with that. It was just like that. Why am I gonna give you ten percent if I'm, if you? It's a line of credit. A bank wouldn't take ten percent. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and so it didn't seem fair. And so that's, and that's the other thing. It's like when you're there, you're like a deer in, in, in headlights. Yeah, right? I was gonna so say, like. like your this is all happening in real time. Your, it's real time. He's intimidating. He's your starting brain. to yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> Deals on the table. But but that's the other thing that is really interesting that I, that I like saying is that. And I guess that's the power of, of, of editing and movie magic. I didn't feel that it was that contentious. Yeah, they had music to it. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, yeah, and, and, to, and I don't know if they pumped up the volume to, because I remember this was being very conversation, like a conversation like you and me. And, and he was being, in my, at least in my mind, he was very calm. He was like very calm demeanor and saying, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, yeah, this is, I think this is my, hey, this is my final offer. But, but at the, when, when the show came out, I was like, this is the final offer. Yeah. And that's the only <laughs> offer you're going to get. And meanwhile, I'm like, and are you debating walking away? Remember, I, I, I made a, cu a couple of counters. I was like, hey, how about seven, seven and a half percent or, or something like that? So I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. And but that's, then between the sharks, they start saying, oh, what if they're non dilutable? Exactly. That's, yeah. and that's, that's when Damon is like, why don't you ask for, you know, if it's 10%, if he wants 10%, ask for a million dollars. Right. Right. And, and, and Lori says 750. Uh, something like that. Or, yeah, yeah. And then, or, 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 and then Mr. Wonderful says something about like, you know, I'm going to get diluted know, I'm gonna at the get yin diluted yang. because he needs to raise more money, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of like my aha moment. It's like, well, how about we make this non dilutive, right? So if I raise more money, you keep your 5% intact. Which is a pretty good deal. I exactly. I, va I value what you bring in the table. This is my, my, me saying, how I value you as a shark and what you're going to do above and beyond because of your platform, because of your knowledge, because of your reach, all that stuff. You're, 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 it's like you're my, my, my partner, right? You're a yeah. partner. And so I, I thought about it, you know, as being as a fair deal. And he also thought it too. And, you know, the, you know, the rest is history. So 5%, 500,000 line of credit. Line of credit, 12% yeah. interest. And yeah. you struck a deal. And we struck the deal on air. On air. Let's talk about the deal first. So what happened? So they do their due diligence. It takes a couple months. So after the show finishes, we get a chance to meet uh, his team, amazing guys, set up a call with the CEO of O'Leary Ventures. How quickly thereafter oh. did that happen? 
um, I want to say maybe by the following week. Okay. By the following week or or, or, or ten days, uh, I get an email from them and hey, you know, congratulations, we're super excited. Let's you know set up a call. In your head though, are you thinking you already won because the deal was made, and so therefore it, you probably think this is going to air? So this is the other thing that they that, that the producers warn you really, uh, and it's on on the contract and this and that. It's like you cannot go on Shark Tank to bluff a deal. Meaning, I'll accept whatever just just, just to, to make get it on airtime. Air. Exactly. Sure. sure. So you have to be serious about it, and so we, we we're actually serious. And actually, you know, we'll, we'll talk about the process, but we're actually still in conversations with the O'Leary team. Uh, so meaning, the deal that it, that that happened at air is being modified in a way that is it's more middle grounded. Okay. You know, for, for, for both of us, right? Okay. okay. There's still interest here on, on, on both sides. On, on, on so it's this, an ongoing discussion. On, on, this, on this happening, for sure. And what does that mean? They want, like, they, maybe they're, they're saying, I'll do 250000 so like so, so per what, what I can disclose right now. It's insider trading. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. You know, it's, it's not a loan anymore. So we're, we're, oh, we're they're investing in equity. You know, equity. Exactly. So it's, it's going to be. That's what's uh, up, baby. Uh, yeah, exactly. Nice. Well done, uh, Mr. O'Leary. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily the same amount, sure. but it's going to be, you know, something. Sure. And so. That seems very fair. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and again, that's why you go to Shark Tank. You do, you, there has to be an interest on getting a deal. You need to value for sure their, their expertise and their, their reach and, and, and what they can bring to, to, to your business, right? Mr. Uh, O'Leary, he's Canadian and we, are, we just launched in Canada, right? So we're in Costco, Canada with a 32 ounce bottle um, and our chips are making it over there. So having him as a spokesperson over there, you know, yeah, absolutely. So um, there's definitely so it's still this ongoing. That's great. Yeah. So let's talk about, and I love you posted a video about your website views. <laughs> while while your your show your the part of Dude, what you're on was was, was crazy. airing, and that so was... just give people a window into what happens. Your website didn't break, no, it survived. And by the and by the way, some I, people's do. But we've interviewed yes. some people, and their website goes down. I know, I know. Or they so, sell out. It so, becomes a big problem. So they only give you three weeks heads up that you're gonna air, yeah. which is not a lot, if, you know, for production and and all that. So, but we kind of made sure that we were. We were working super hard to have inventory. And then based on conversations I had with other founders that had been there, it's like, make sure you, you stress check your website yeah. uh, so that it doesn't crash. And so that we, we, we worked a lot on that. We made sure that our, that our website and, and we talked to Shopify. We even talked, I don't know how we ended up talking with the you know, CTO of Shopify. Like, <laughs> we just want to make sure. And what did he say? He's like, oh, we've like, been through this. You'll be yeah, fine. Exactly. Don't, okay. don't worry. We, but, but we have you here and it's all going to be fine. And, 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 you know, we get these calls more often than not, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, but we just wanted to make sure that it didn't crash. And, and yeah, and lo and behold, it did not. Yeah. And what's, what's the website? What, 10X, 20X, 100X? What was the we multiple sold, from Shark Tank? We sold in the, in the three days from Shark Tank and two more days, two more days from there, a third of what we sold all last year. Wow. So one zone. third in three days. In three days. Holy shit. Yeah. It's, it's, what does that mean? Is that like a million dollars? What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's not a million dollars. It's uh, around, but that's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, six figures for sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're in the high sixes yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, 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 for sure. Wow. We're only talking Amazon and, and Shopify. So this is not counting. We we still haven't uh, uh, tallied, you know, the sure. impact on the retail. Sure. Now which we got a lot because we we know because uh, we could see the the visits on the on the. Uh, where to find the, uh, our uh, you okay. know, the retail. Yep. And then we also got a lot of emails like, um, a lot of people that don't know that that exists. They're like, oh, where can I find it? In Tallahassee or whatever. So sure. we had a lot of emails of like that. What state or city surprised you the most? Like where was a place where you thought no one's ever going to buy it here? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, Chicago was a, was a, was a weird one. Like, well, and that, that, I think that, one be, that became the number one. And it kind of makes sense too because it, it does make sense because we don't have a lot of retail presence there yet okay. in the Midwest, and yeah. you know I think you know they're they're also you know into into spicy food and better for you and all that. Stuff. How much work before this are you doing in terms of just getting your your maybe your warehouse your distribution? Are you making more product ahead of this, yes. or you have to? Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We, and we, are we, you alerting your retail partners? We were also? scrambling, and a lot of things because you don't have. You know, I mean, three weeks isn't much you know, time. You but. know that what they say: when it rains, it pours. Right? Yeah. And so, 
boy was boring. <laughs> it was freaking Hurricane Katrina. I mean, it's like we got the announcement of Shark Tank, and then we were also doing uh, Walmart at the same time. Oh, wow. And then... Uh, Great player. Sprouts. And so, Genius. So, so Genius we, timing. Way to do that. So it was... It was, <laughs> it was a, a lot. A couple of the week of, 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 of good, big distribution uh, wins that we had. So it's like, oh boy. All right, let's do this. Tell me about what happens on the investor side, right? So you're raising capital. You just went on Shark Tank. Yeah. So to some extent, it's like, it gives you a badge where people go, oh, let me get in the deal. Kevin might be in the deal. Or on paper, it looks like he's, it looks like he's in, the, in the deal. Yeah. And so what happens on the investor interest side? Does it skyrocket? Yes. Well, uh, not necessarily, I don't want to say skyrockets, but we had already been talking to a lot of uh, early stage VCs and angels and family office, and which you know most of them had expressed tremendous interest. But when we were reaching back to, to hey, it's time to commit. Let's let, we want to start closing this mm. radio silence, right? Like yeah. they were not even replying, like, oh no, you're not the right time, or you know, we after you know analysis in the past. They were just not. They went to radio silence. A lot, a lot of these, yeah. and so as soon as Shark Tank aired, there was no radio silence anymore. They started answering our emails back. Oh yeah, we totally we dropped the ball here, or oh. Let's let's pick it up again, and so uh, that d definitely helped a lot, and especially in this environment. I mean, you're in an environment right now where CPG can be crushed, but at the same time, it's like if you have a promising product that's getting this airtime, it kind of makes your decision analysis a little bit easier, right? Well, absolutely. This might be the one to bet on. They're doing really well, and now they have all this press. Yeah, all the marketing. No, absolutely. I do. I do want to say that we already had a, a, a lead investor uh, prior to Shark Tank uh, airing, and so that also makes things gives a, gives a signal of um, of confidence of, sec of of security. You know, so someone someone oh someone is already coming in with a million dollars, all right, and they've done a, their their diligence and their analysis and all that, and so that also helps. So so yeah, I think you know. Turning, we feel that we're turning a little bit the corner there. And what was the biggest surprise? Like something that you didn't think would happen? Are you sleeping at night? Are you sleeping better? <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy a new mattress? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, I, after Shark Tank, I, I rested. So by yeah. the way, I was in Mexico when Shark Tank aired. I, I, we, we were on a spring break vacation with the family, so oh, I couldn't, wow. I, I didn't see it live. I was just yeah. seeing snippets <laughs> of what people uh, were posting on Instagram and I was just seeing uh, our Shopify visitors just going how it, the eastern seaboard lit up it was crazy because it starts it airs first right, on it the eastern there. And, and then it just so it was just crazy how the, the whole thing lit it's up. like everyone doing the wave exactly at a it's yeah. a, so that was pretty 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 cool to see and then yeah after after that aired and I was uh, the the notes of you did great came in I I finally was able to rest because number one I taped in September I didn't I, I barely remember what I did last weekend man. yeah so uh, you know I was like it's I don't the life I, of CPG. I, I, I don't know what what I, what I what I what I said and how were they gonna portray me or anything like that so it all turned fine I what I like to say is I'm glad I I went swimming with the sharks and, and, and came out alive on that one. And what happens on social media? How big did your following grow on on different platforms? I assume Instagram being the most obvious, but what hap What did you see in terms of numbers? Yeah, I think uh, I think we gained maybe three to four thousand new followers on, on Instagram, which is I think it's a I think the pla Instagram I think is the platform where we. That's like ten percent of where a, you were at anyway, roughly, a, a right? Little, a little a little bit more developed. Uh, TikTok, uh, you know, which is new for us, but we also got a, a got a, 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 a spike there. So, all right. So the takeaway here being, at the end of it, you got a you did a third of your last year's revenue over the course of three days. Right. Unbelievable. Social media goes up ten percent, and then all of a sudden your investors are are taking. Yeah. Your well, email uh, yeah. Exactly. You there is this huge. interest now. Uh, yeah. You you become a little bit more of a investable uh, brand. What else can you tell us about what's next for Tia Levita now that you're emerging out of this? We just saw our Q, our Q1 numbers from retail. We're, we're up almost 91% consumption. Uh, our velocities are uh, increasing. What are they? What, what were they? What are they? We increased our velocities 
like 30 percent okay that's pretty good uh, everything's tracking in the right direction hot sauces for a while were a little bit uh stagnant and we're we're, we're seeing that they're starting to 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 go up again chips as well chips chips uh, um, is one of the things that we keep growing. Uh, we haven't gained a lot of distribution yet, so that's focus for sure. Um, you can find them at Ralph's now. For example, if you go to Ralph's, you'll find three of the of chips. I think hot sauce, sea salt, and uh, chipotle. I was telling the guys I came. I flew in last night to go see uh, LAFC. Mm-hmm. So you the know, soccer team. The soccer team, uh, which is. Major League Soccer is, I think, most valuable franchise. I would I agree. Think it's, 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 I think they're worth over a billion dollars now. Yeah. And you, this is an exclusive. I'm going to drop it right here. Let's do it. We're very close. We're like actually just a, a signature away of uh, Tia Lupita becoming the official hot sauce of the LAFC. The LAFC official hot sauce yes. supplier, Tia Lupita. Yeah, Tia Lupita. So if you go to What's B- good? That's B- amazing. BMO Stadium, you'll have Tia Lupita in all concession stands. Our chips are going to be sold there. So it's it's really cool. We, That's we, so perfect for LA. I mean, it's, 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 it's a match made in heaven. How long are you working on that deal? Uh, for a year now. Yeah. And they have been great to work with. I've met with Larry Berg, who's the owner. I, I mean, he invited me Larry for Larry Legend. Like he invited me for breakfast at his house. In uh, Indiana? No, no. His he, house here. He, uh, okay. Uh, but not, 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 <laughs> no, you're getting confused with Larry Bird. Yeah. No, the owner of the LAFC, his name is Larry Berg. Berg, sorry. Berg, Berg. So, yeah, we'll no, I, I, my, I, my, my accent is. Uh, Larry so, Berg, another okay. legend. Another, he's, yeah, another yeah. legend. Uh, a little Star Trek because his neighbor is, is um, uh, Justin Bieber. And so. Cool. Is Magic <laughs> a part of LAFC? He's involved, right? Magic, Magic is Johnson. one of the owners. Will Farrell. Yeah. Uh, Mia Hamm, uh, Nomar. Garcia Parra. No ma, we call no, him no ma. No ma. No ma. Exactly. So again, they they've been super 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 nice. You gonna get a sweet? You gonna get a Tia Lupita sweet? I mean, we're, soon? we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get definitely tickets for sure. And so well, <laughs> yeah. next time next time around we'll 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 pick a game and we'll, we'll go all together go. for sure. But it's a uh, if you haven't been there, by the way, it's well, there's nothing like it. The it's, outside, it's just the, the outside best alone. Major League Soccer experience. Believe me, I, and be, I, I I I'm a huge football fan. Uh, I'm gonna call it soccer here for you guys. No football. But it's is football. Good. Football is life. Football, yeah. Football is life, coach. It's called LA Football Club. <laughs> LA Football Club. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've, so I've been fortunate to be uh, to few uh, major league soccer games, and nothing compares to the LAFC. LAFC experience is the closest thing you'll ex- uh, have to going to a, I think, a, a South American match or a, a Mexican or a year match. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. What a drop! Thank you, brother. Well, look, man, you were a legend before. The legend continues. The story's uh, getting better. Take it easy. Calm You'll be back down. next year. Oh. We'll do it again. Hey, I have so much fun coming here and talking to you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll happy to do this every year, man, and, uh, you know, drop uh, nuggets of exclusives. I appreciate uh, it. News. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thank you. If you made it this far, I bet you loved the episode. So you should join our YouTube channel membership for only $2.99 a month. This gets you access to, one, the whole unabridged conversation. Two, you get the episodes on Monday, one day earlier. Three, you get two additional entries trees to our giveaways check out our instagram to see what we've given away and four you get access to seasons one through three that's over a hundred episodes of wisdom and life-changing advice what are you waiting for join